What's up, Internet? I am the PC Goblin. So today I wanted to talk about my experience with my dying 2080 Ti. Yes, it's happened to me. The video card is dying. So what exactly is it doing? It first showed its ugly head when I'd be trying to play like Jurassic World or even Grand Theft Auto V and when SLI was enabled, I would try to play a game and it'd immediately crash out. Well, not immediately. It'd crash out after about like two or three minutes. And then just yesterday, I was playing Jurassic World and like I really couldn't even play the game. I'd get up into where I was actually playing the game and boom, it'd crash. Or I'd see like weird distorted images of Jurassic World and then it would crash. But I wouldn't be able to get anything done because I'd get in, crash. So the other thing it was doing is in my computer I can hear this loud buzzing sound. It's just So I'm going to show you that right now. Alright, so here we are going into the PC. And to prove it's the card, that's me stopping the, the fan physically, but noise goes away. And then as soon as the fan spins up, you can hear it again. So at first I really wasn't sure what was causing that noise. I've had that noise for a couple months now, to be honest with you. And the other day I just couldn't take it anymore. So I've opened up my case, started like stopping all the fans in my system. I thought it might have been the pump for my Kraken, but fortunately it wasn't that. So when I opened my case up, one of the things I did was stick my head inside it and it sounded like it was coming from the video card the loudest, so that's when I started stopping the fans on it, found that it was that rear fan. As soon as I stopped it, my computer was quiet again. So I reached out to NVIDIA and this was actually a really good experience. So I reached out to NVIDIA, created a ticket, said, hey, my top video card's making this noise. And they're like, okay, well, how do you know it's the card? I told them what I did and they replied back saying, but awesome, can we get your shipping address? Can you make an audio clip of the buzzing sound or the noise that it's making? So I did that, sent it to them, and then they replied back fairly quick saying, hey, we're going to create an RMA. The next day I had a one day shipping RMA created and so I got that notice on a Tuesday. Wednesday morning I had the brand new video card in my hand. Alright, now that we've got that out of the way and I have the new video card, let's go ahead and open up the box that I got from NVIDIA and see what it's all included with the 2080 Ti RMA. Here is the box that I got for it. Morning, 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 morning. Contains awesome. Had the stamps all over it, packing list. Really not much to it. There, always important. Boom. Looks like they just sent me a brand new card. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to use that box to send back the... I'm gonna have to use that box later to send back the bad video card, but... Unboxing that everybody's seen already. Boom. One brand new GTX 2080 Ti. Well, the card's now been in my system for a couple of weeks and I've been putting it through its paces. I've been benchmarking it with Heaven and other tests. I've been gaming with it and so far it hasn't made any sound other than quiet fan noises. I haven't had any artifacting or any weird game issues. It's just been running like a champ. 
Overall, I'm really happy with my experience with NVIDIA's RMA. Other vendors, I've had a more difficult experience where I've had to do more troubleshooting to prove the card was bad. And then when they actually did RMA it, I had the fight to do a cross ship so I didn't have to live without the card first before I sent the other one back. And on top of that, I'd have to pay for the shipping for the card to go back to them. Whereas with NVIDIA, it's the exact opposite. Just quickly told them what the problem was. They set up a one day replacement. They sent it to me. I had the way bill to send it back to them. Really slick, really easy. And on top of that, it wasn't a refurbished card, at least that I could tell. It was a brand new card. It was just overall a great experience. It sucks that the card died, but NVIDIA made it quick and easy to get a new one put in. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm in tech support, and I'd love to hear about your stories with tech support for NVIDIA or any other vendor down in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to see more of my stuff, please subscribe to my channel below, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.